Mr. President. Uh, to meet the president's challenge, I ordered HHS to launch an unprecedented all agency effort to identify all causes of autism, including toxic and pharmaceutical exposures. At President Trump's urging, NIH, FDA, CDC, and CMS are turning over every stone to identify the ideology of the autism epidemic and how patients and parents can prevent and reverse this alarming trend. We have broken down the traditional silos that have long separated these agencies, and we have fast-tracked research and guidance. Historically, NIH has focused almost solely on politically safe and entirely fruitless research about the genetic drivers of autism. President Trump's urging NIH, FDA, CDC, and CMS are turning over every stone to identify the ideology of the autism epidemic and how patients and parents can prevent and reverse this alarming trend. We have broken down the traditional silos that have long separated these agencies, and we have fast-tracked research and guidance. Historically, NIH has focused almost solely on politically safe and entirely fruitless research about the genetic drivers of autism. And that would be like studying the genetic drivers of lung cancer without looking at cigarettes. And that's what NIH has been doing for 20 years. As a result, we don't have an answer to this critical question, despite the cataclysmic impact of the epidemic on our nation's children. We are now, replace, we are now replacing the institutional culture of politicized science and corruption with evidence-based medicine. NIH research teams are currently testing multiple hypotheses with no area off limits. We promise transparency as we uncover the potential causes and treatments, and that's what NIH has been doing for 20 years. As a result, we don't have an answer to this critical question, despite the cataclysmic impact of the epidemic on our nation's children. We are, now replace, we are now replacing the institutional culture of politicized science and corruption with evidence-based medicine. NIH research teams are currently testing multiple hypotheses with no area off limits. We promise transparency as we uncover the potential causes and treatments, and we will notify the public regularly of our progress. Today, we are announcing two important findings from our autism work that are vital for parents to know as they make these decisions. First, HHS will act on acetaminophen. 